Pacer is hosting the Bucks, and the Bucks are eight point favorites. The over under is at 237 and a half or 238. Milwaukee is minus 345 on the money line, and Indiana is plus 270. The Bucks have won their last two games. The Pacers have lost the last game that they played. Before you bet this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are actually playing in this game, and use a site like Vegas Insider. It'll allow you to compare all the casinos' pricings this way. You get the most advantageous line, whichever way you want to bet, and it's completely free. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Bucks are on a nine-game winning streak against the Pacers. The Bucks are 9-1 against the Pacers in their last 10 meetings. The home team is 7-3 in their last 10 meetings. Most of the games, the Bucks were the favorite, and the games the road team won were the Bucks. So there's that food for thought. The favorite is 7-3 against the spread, while the favorite is 9-1 on the money line. Ironically enough, one of the games, the Pacers were the underdog, were the favorite, and the Bucks won. The over has hit in their last two games. The over is 7-3, and, and the over under at 237.5 is 5-5. Five five. The last game that they played, the Bucks won 132-119 in Milwaukee. The game before that, the Bucks won 128-119 in Milwaukee. The game before that, the Bucks won 114-99 in Milwaukee. The game before that, the Bucks won 118-100 in Indiana. The last time the Pacers beat the Bucks was on February 12th of 2020. They won 118-111, and that was in Indiana. Now, in their last handful of games, the Bucks did not cover the last game they played, and they've covered five out of their last ten games. We had a combined 194 points, 180 points, 216 points, and 252 points. That's for the Bucks. For the Pacers, they've only covered two out of their last 10 games. We've had a combined 246, 226, 219, and 244. Two of the games that they've played have gone under, two have gone over, and the Bucks, same thing in their last four games. I'm going to take Milwaukee with the money line. I'm going to take Milwaukee laying the points. And I'm going to go over because seemingly every time lately I pick the Bucks to go under, they explode on offense. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.